everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm back again. I'm doing a October wrap up for today's video. It feels really weird to say that this is the end of October when it literally just feels like yesterday I was doing a September wrap up and it's just gone really quickly. The first book series that I read this month was the Buttons series by Penelope Sky, um, and the first book is called Buttons and Lace. I know it's the first out of six books, just to let everyone know. It's quite a dark series so if you don't like triggering things I probably wouldn't recommend it but it's quite dark um, if you don't like things like kidnapping I just definitely wouldn't recommend it. Um, I'll tell you a bit about the story so it follows a woman called Pearl who goes on holiday with her boyfriend and she gets kidnapped um, and she gets sold off to um, this arms dealer called Bones and she's there for a little while she's with Bones for a little while and he treats her horribly and then she gets kidnapped again <laughs> by um, some enemies that Bones has. And the whole idea is that they're meant to keep her for a little while. He pays them loads of money. And then she gets given back. What The man that's kidnapped her, called Crow, he sort of slowly starts to fall in love with her. And it's all basically about that, them trying to fight off Bones. So the first three books are about Pearl and Crow. And then the final three books are about... Cain, who is Crow's brother, and another young lady who's been kidnapped, so still quite dark. My only problem with them was that at the end of the third book, so basically the end of Pearl and Crow's story, it goes to like ten years later sort of thing, five years later, um, and it mentions characters, and I won't spoil anything, but it mentions some characters, and I'm like, that's fine, whatever. And then I started to read the fourth book, which is about Cain, so it goes back to ten years before. And then when I got to the sixth book, when I read the end, I was like, this isn't how this happens in the third book. Um, so I think she's mixed up the characters and I think she's maybe just sort of messed up a bit and she's not realised until she's published it. But yeah, there was big balls up with the characters, I would say. But otherwise, it was a really good book. I really enjoyed it. The next book I read this month was Savage Lover by Sophie Lark and it's the third book in the Brutal Birthright series. I would definitely recommend reading the first two. I only read this one this month because it's only just come out. But I would definitely recommend reading the first two. They're all mafia romance. But it's a mafia romance series, basically. Um, and then this book follows Nero, who's part of Mafia, and Camille, who's a car mechanic, and she basically gets involved with a dirty cop, but at the same time she gets pushed towards Nero to sort of find out information about him, to feed back to the cop. All these books can be read as standalones, but they're better when you read the first two books. And it's Happily Ever After, no cliffhangers, there's not really plot twists in it, it's just a really nice light mafia romance read. Um, and it's a bit of a book world because it follows along siblings, at least anyway. Um, and then the next book is about Nero's brother, and you get a little snippet at the end of this book. Um, which has made me so, so bloomin' excited for it. But it comes out, I'm pretty sure, on like the 30th of October, so I don't think I have to wait that long. I'm not, don't count me on that, but I'm pretty sure it comes out near the very end of October, so fingers crossed I get to read that soon. But I would 10 out of 10 recommend these books. So the third book I read this month was A Single Glance by Willow Winters. And right, I didn't read all that much. I didn't finish it, um, and I read about... 25% maybe and it wasn't because it was a bad book it was because it just didn't interest me and I was already 25% of the way through and I was like it's just not grabbing my attention at all and I just don't really want to read it it's about a young woman and her sister is either dead or she's missing and she has a suspicion of who it is and it's this man that's involved in organized crime I'm pretty sure um and that's pretty much as far as I got, I got to the bit where he kidnaps her. I just really, really, really wasn't interested in it. Um, and it's not because it was badly written or anything. It just didn't interest me at all. It's the first book I've ever read by Willa Winters, but I've heard really amazing things about her. So I think I probably will go and read another one of her books and, you know, try and make it up. But give it a read. You probably will like it more than I did, so... So the fourth book I read this month was Fragile Longing by Cora Riley. So this is a standalone mafia book, but it is part of a bigger mafia world. It probably won't make a load of sense because it's about characters you've met 
in the other book world and her other books. So probably read her other books and then come to this one. It's about Sophia who's in, who's been arranged to marry a old man who's 10 years older than her called Danilo. Right, so I did like it. Let me just get that straight out of the bag. I did like it. I like pretty much any book that Cora Riley would put out, I would like. My problem, I think a lot of people's problems with the book was that it focused too much on the past. Like I would rather the chunk of the book being about after the wedding, but the chunk of the book was about before the wedding. Yeah, but I did definitely like it. I wouldn't recommend if you haven't read her other books, but if you have read her other books, then I would definitely recommend because it's a steamy age gap mafia romance. So the next book that I read this month was the Cloverleaf Farm series by Melanie Harlow. Um, there's five books and they all follow the Sawyer sisters because there's five sisters. Read the first book and don't really want to read the rest and that's fine. But so the first book follows Franny, Franny Sawyer and she's pretty much in love with the CFO of Cloverleaf Farms and he's a single dad to three girls and she nannies them sometimes and it's basically like a nanny single parent love story. Some nice humorous bits in it, I did really enjoy it. And the next four books are all about Franny's sisters basically. It's like a massive big book world which I love. This book is an age gap nanny single parent romance that sort of trope if you're into it and then the other four aren't really that but the other four it's still all about being in cloverleaf arms and it's just really nice it makes you feel nice and warm and fuzzy inside so i'll definitely recommend so the next book series that i read this month was the westover prep series by marie james and i'll tell you about the first book it basically follows a girl called piper in high school who has been bullied pretty much her whole life by her next door neighbor dalton and she goes to her first high school party at the beginning of summer and he's then he gets really angry and he's really drunk so she doesn't know what to do so she just takes his car and drives him home and when they're driving home they end up getting into a car crash and going down like a ravine he pretty much loses all his memories so it is a bully high school romance i suppose but he sort of doesn't realize that he was a bully and he doesn't realize that he bullied her because he can't remember. They just basically end up falling in love and it's all about her trying to come to love someone who's been, always been so horrible but he's not the same person because he just doesn't remember any of it. I really enjoyed it. The second book is about Piper's friend Frankie and it also like involves all the same characters pretty much. Buddy, high school romances, enemies to lovers, all that sort of good tut. So if that's your thing, that's the books that you like to read then I would definitely give those a read. They were quite good and they're quite well written. Right, so the next book that I read this month was The Sinner by Kelsey Clayton. Savannah goes to a really rich, like, private school and she lies to all her friends that she's got money and she lies that she's got a loving family and all that sort of stuff. And Grayson, who she's grown up with, who she was best friends with but she hasn't seen in, like, four years, and he comes back with a grudge and she can't figure out why. She doesn't really understand what she's done. And it's sort of, like, blackmail because he finds out that she's not rich and she hasn't got like this big family that she says she does. The book is basically them sort of working it out. It ends on happy ending. There are more books in this series. I like this book, but just not enough to read the rest of the books. So yeah, that was that book. It's Enemies to Lovers, Bully, High School Romance. Another good book that I would recommend. So the next book that I read this month was Marauder by Bella Decor. It's the second book in the Gangsters of New York series. Um, so if you haven't read the first book, I probably wouldn't recommend reading this book. It's about a man part of the Irish mob in New York called Cash Kelly and he sort of gets into an arranged marriage with a young lady called Keely. It has some plot twists, it ends on Happy Ever After and it's not too dark, I wouldn't say it's a very dark book. Did I like it? Would I recommend it? I would definitely recommend the first book, 100% recommend the first book in this series but I don't know if I'd recommend this book just because it was quite long and I didn't feel like it needed to be that long and my second problem with it was that it was quite rambly and like riddly but yeah it does get good reviews so if you're interested in mafia romances I would give it a read it probably just is my problem so the next book that I read this month was Forever Lies by Jill Ramsower. So it was the first of four books in the Five Family series. It follows a young lady called Alicia who is working in her dad's office and she sort of has a chance encounter with a handsome stranger called Luca 
and then he sort of starts to pursue her but she starts to hear some very damning evidence that he's in the mafia and there are a few plot twists it's really not very dark as well by the way this is a nice light mafia romance and the next book is about Alicia's sister so it's going to be a book world so if you want a book world series that's to do with the Mafia, I'd recommend this one. So the next book that I read this month was Beauty and the Crime Boss by Zabby James. If you couldn't tell, it's basically a Beauty and the Beast retelling. It follows a young lady called Mia, whose dad gets into loads of debt, so he uses her as collateral to pay for his debt. To a man part of organised crime called Lucas, um, and it sort of follows her moving into his house, well his mansion, um, and becoming friends with all his friends and like his staff. It's really well written, it's got good plot twists and it ends on a cliffhanger. It's by an indie author so I can't recommend it enough. So the next book that I've read this month, and it's two books, it's a series, it was Innocent and Untamed by Anna Widges. I really hope I'm saying that name right. And it was the first two books in the Amata series. I think there's going to be six um, I think from her Instagram I saw there's going to be six of these books. These are stunning books, absolutely stunning books. I could not recommend these books more. I absolutely adore them. I'll tell you a bit about it. The first book follows a mafia princess called Lynette and she's in high school and she gets arranged to marry a man called Noah who's part of the uh, another mafia family. Basically throughout the whole book she's sort of being stalked and harassed and she can't figure out who it is. So there's a lot of suspense in this book. It's just as much as a crime book as it is a romance book. And it ends, it doesn't, I wouldn't say the first book ends on a cliffhanger because it doesn't. But it ends, I don't know how to describe it, it like leads you on, it like makes you want more. So it's, but it's not a cliffhanger, but it's just an amazing ending. Again, by another indie author. Um, I was really, really surprised when I read it because I was like, it just hasn't had the ratings and I thought it's such a stunning book, I don't understand why it hasn't got literally like a thousand reviews. Don't know when the third book is coming out. I cannot express how excited I am to read the third book. Like, these aren't too dark, but um, they're just blooming stunning. I can't recommend them enough. So the penultimate book, or well it's a series, that I read this month was Geo and Gemma. So they're two separate books, Geo is the first book and Gemma is the second book, by Natalia Lou Rose. And again I mentioned these in my Mafia reading vlog that I did last week. These are really great books as well, really really great. Um, they're the first two books in the Del Gardo trilogy. And the third book, it will be about Gio and Gemma's brother. But yeah, I'll tell you a bit about the first book. So the first book follows Gio, who's part of the Mafia. And he catches Annie breaking into his, like, bar and trying to steal money from him. So he sort of, not kidnaps her, but he basically, you're going to work for me now because he's got another, like, armed robbery job that he wants to do. And it's basically about them sort of falling in love. And it's a really nice book. It's quite short, it's quite sweet. The first book was only 70p on the Kindle, but again, I don't know if that was because it was Prime Day when I bought it. Those two really amazing books, they end on Happy Ever Afters. They're quite light, um, there's nice bits of humour in them. But yes, I would definitely recommend them. So the final book that I read this month was Mr Masters by T.L. Swan. It's about a young Australian lady called Brielle who moves to London for the year to... Um, basically nanny Mr Masters, he was character, Mr Masters children and at first they're little rat bags and she doesn't like it and she hates it and it's sort of a slow burn romance um, and it's an age gap, it's a single single dad nanny sort of trope if you like that which I do like. Um, they're quite light and it had a fair few bits of nice humour in it and yeah I just really enjoyed them it's the first book in a two-part series and I just didn't want to read the second book, being completely honest. The second book is about um, a character that was in the first book, but I just didn't like the character at all. I just won't bother, I'm happy to just read that book. And it ends on happy ending. Yeah, it was really nice. But yeah, that's me done for the day. I'll see you at some point soon. I'll see you next week, probably. Um, if you could like, if you could subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. And if you could maybe comment if you've read any of these books or if you're going to read any of the books or if you've got any book recommendations for me because I'm always open ears for those. Thank you for watching. 
um and i'll see you soon so goodbye